Hey, I'm going to show you a speed view that is EV with speed, or speedy EV. <laughs> that's the name of it. So then I go, uh, you have your auto scene. That's the first, first thing you want to do. Uh, as you see, um, eight uh, thumbnails. I click on the first one, that is matte gray. The next step you want to do is you go to render settings. You see my render settings here on the right. It doesn't have uh, much uh, yet. So, but if you click on that, render settings free, it will um, replace those settings with very good uh, settings. And then, the uh, third step is then to bake and red light. And then you go to render preview and you see this. So you can also, uh, so what it added to the scene is three collections, three collections, three point light. I'll show you what it is. So let's go over here. I added the three point light. I select objects. So this is the three point light. And I added the so called HD rise substitute. That's this one. That's the a cube with a point light inside. And the lighter of those point lights will bounce inside the cube and back into the scene. So and then we have our backdrop, and that's that backdrop. That has uh, the irradiance probe and the reflection probe uh, set up uh, properly with uh, good settings. So that's that's the collections. So we had uh, the first uh, steps to do. We see the collections. So if we click another uh, thumbnail, and we click that one, then it will replace all uh, these uh, three collections. So it removes them, clean the or orphans, and load a new uh, scene like that. So let's get rid of this uh, grid for a while. Go to run a preview. So we loaded another scene. Every time we load another scene, we click big and right light again. Run the settings, that's uh, no need to change uh, that because if I click again, nothing will change. All right, so um, that's that. So as soon as you load um, a preset, uh, then you will see a new menu item. That is the three point light. So I show you the three point light like that. All right. So um, I can click on the light position, and the light position is this one. So you see the focus of that three point light is here. So it will keep on shining on the focus. You change only the position. You can, but you can also click on light focus. That's this one over here. And if you press G and an X, you can change something like that. Or NG and Y. Or you can uh, select them both uh, and uh, you can grab the whole uh, rig, let's say, or click on light position and an R and an R again, and then you rotate the lights like that around, or R and then that. Uh, so you click uh, one of the lights. Uh, you click on key light, and then you have here your key light. You can change that uh, setting. You don't see much difference because um, you see also the the the, the ambient uh, light. Let's say you can load another scene. Maybe you see it better then. So we load another scene. First thing to do, you bake and right light. And then if you go to key, maybe we see it in a better this time. All right, and backlight, change the color. And fill light. All right, so you can play around with the, that. Uh, and then you, you, we have Let's say you have your object, and usually I press first dot on the numeric keypad. That means that I will orbit around uh, my uh, object. And if I press lock to view, then I can 
easily uh, rotate or position my camera on the object. And if I press unlock the view again, and then I will undo that. I can play with the focal length. And if I shift right click, then it will add a 3D cursor over there, add that to field, and you can play with the F stop. You don't see it very good right now because um, there's not much into the scene. Oh yeah, and then um, yeah, you can play around with that. I show you indirect uh, baking. So we have that cube for indirect baking. Let's select here the objects. So uh, in this case, this is the cube for indirect uh, baking. Then if you go to the properties panel, viewport display, go to solid. You see, now we, if we look around into the scene, uh, if we look around into the scene, you, you will see how the light is uh, bouncing around. Let's say if we change the Q for Android light, let's say we make it uh, green, very green, we make Android light. It should then, and you will see it affects. Um, the indirect light. Should. Why is it not? All right. <laughs> yeah. This time. Um, oh, I didn't change the color. So let's go back over here. Base color. Uh, big indirect. Yeah, now it uh, works. Uh, return it to blue. Yeah, we see the, the, the effect of indirect uh, light. Often we see it much better, but now I have already uh, lights. Uh, yeah, it depends. All right, and then, and that's that. And the settings. Then you have the documentation, you can get the pro version. Pro version has quite uh, more setups. So that's the latest uh, setups so with the uh, fork flashlight um, and a more uh, interior um, presets. You can add smoke, you can add global shader compositing notes. Additional lights and it yeah, has more random settings. Random settings one is the latest, and we can play around with the color management. And it has um, procedural shares. So if you have your uh, backdrop, let's say, and you click one of the thumbnails, then it will add uh, the material. And it has also um, the material notes add on, but that's a long story. Then um, let me go back over here. So you can uh, watch the teaser of the pro version. You can go on my Twitter if you have questions. You can check all the products and there's also Blender Coaching if that's what you're looking for. All right. Thanks for watching and enjoy the free. Other